guys welcome back to my channel i'm back here with my sister ty hey. Ann, and today we're going to be doing a new series called tony talk tony talk is basically me asking someone that i'm close to and maybe as it gets bigger like some random person <laughs> basically our opinion on the topic that I'm currently talking about. So today I'm going to ask Ty Ann a question and her opinion on a topic and to see how she feels about it. So let's get started. So the question I'm going to ask you is, yes. do you think a guy should pay for you as a teenager? Like going on a date? Yes. I think that if, as a, as a guy, if you're going to ask a girl out, you should have money for the date. You know, like especially if it's going to be a date, you like me, you want to go out and everything. Don't come up empty-handed even if you're not a teenager that I don't think that's okay especially for the first couple of dates so what age do you think that it should start when they start paying yeah like early teenage age, you, like 13 14 if you feel grown enough to ask someone out on a date and your parents are okay with it you should be paying for it it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to physically have a job I mean ask your parents for money you know don't ask me out on a date if you expect me to pay for it it's not a date then I'm just going on an outing <laughs> What type of date would it be like? What type of date would be appropriate? For if, yeah, if I am spending money, like if a guy is spending money for the girl. Okay, so as a teenager, I feel like movie dates are good. Even going to, if you don't want to spend money, like even just going to the mall and hanging out is something cute. Or another thing would be like maybe during the summertime going to an amusement park, a festival, even paying for my ticket. Like, you know, little cute things like that. You don't want to overly splurge on the females you ask on out on a date because it is just a date and my last question would be do you think that females should pay at least once or should they pay would it or is it unacceptable for them to pay the first time they go on a date with a guy i think it's unacceptable to pay for the first time you go on a date with a guy i mean stuff happens so sometimes you know rare situations you might have to but as the female even getting older outside of the 16 year old range and stuff i don't think the female needs to pay after you guys are in a relationship for a while and he you guys have been together for a minute and you decide to treat him i think that's okay so my opinion <laughs> so i personally feel that a guy should definitely pay at least the first three dates and then i feel as you guys grow together as a couple and get older then i think you guys can like either split the price or maybe one day she'll pay for the date that dinner date or he'll pay for that dinner date and as for the age, I think it should, like my sister said, I think it should, well, as Ty Ann said, I feel that it should automatically be, once you feel that you're able to go on that date, you should be paying for the girl. It's just automatic manners, and I think parents should be teaching that at home. And as for females paying the first time, that is unacceptable. They shouldn't be paying for you, and they shouldn't be paying for themselves at all, in my personal opinion. Yeah. Some people think otherwise. I feel like that's just is a gentleman thing to do. And in our generation, we lack those values now, because it's always been a custom. Mm -hmm before so we tend to forget well the guys tend to forget they're like i'm paying for her i don't know her but it's just the right thing to do and it's just being a gentleman yeah it's, it's just it's just being a gentleman honestly like she said and even as you get older and stuff it's still i don't want to say expected as if females are gold diggers or anything like that but like i feel like the guy definitely should pay maybe like i'll offer i'll be like oh i'm gonna get you a gift this one time because i know like for me and my boyfriend he pays for me all the time and like when I do have the money to get him something, I'll get him something. But I know, like, sometimes he'll be like, no, it's okay, I got it. So I think as a female, it's okay to offer. But every time I offer as the guy, don't be accepted every single time. Yeah. Like, no. The next question will be, when should a promise ring be given? Or do you believe in promise rings? Okay, well, I do believe in promise rings. I don't think there's anything wrong with giving them. Honestly, I don't really know the exact definition of when and how for a promise ring. But for my own opinion, I feel like... You give a promise ring when you want someone, when you feel like you're going to be with someone for a long time. So it's kind of like that step before engagement, but I know that there are some high schoolers who give each other promise rings and it not all, mean anything. it doesn't mean anything and not all high school relationships last that long where it's like, oh, I promise to be my fiance, I promise to be my wife, you know? So I feel like promise rings are okay after you've gotten to a level in a relationship where things are just really serious, really deep, and it's just... It doesn't, I don't think it locks you down. Some people think it locks you into a relationship, but I think it's just like, I care about you. I love you. This is just my, this is my, what's the word? This shows my love for you. My love for you. you how, what you mean to me type yeah. thing. I don't think, I don't know. I, I, I'm and, not against them. And when should it be given? <sighs> That's hard. I mean, because it depends on the different relationships and how it goes. So I think like, when you guys are at a point where 
I would say definitely, okay, so time frame wise, I would definitely say after a year. I wouldn't do it in between a year, but like after a year, maybe two, even even three years, like I think a promise ring is okay, but before a year, that's that's a bit much. You guys just like each other, chill. My opinion with promise rings, I definitely agree with them. I would love to get a promise ring maybe one day. <laughs> Most yeah, likely, the idea yeah, is so it's cute. really cute in the way that you do it, and it means like he really does care about you. And also, like she said, it doesn't mean you're tied down to in that relationship. Um, if that relationship happens to end, I mean, what can you do? But at least it was meaningful and thoughtful. Um, but he's basically promising to give you his love to for, be loyal yeah. to you and stuff for the. And if he, as long as he's doing it for during that time frame, it frame it's still polite, and I think it's sweet. And to me, like I think people look at promise rings too seriously, and I feel like a promise ring is like giving me a necklace as a gift, or even like. A bracelet as a gift. It's just another gift. It's a token of how I feel about you, basically. Yeah. And as for the time frame, I agree. I'm like, as long as you like know that like, that's your girl and you love her. I think me. She said one year, but I honestly would say maybe three years. I feel like yeah, so if like y'all are under one yeah. year, the least because because I'm like because promise you, like if you're a year, a lot of couples make it to a year and then it's done. So I'm gonna say like three, right? yeah, yeah, three, three years. years is like okay, like we've been together for a while and we're gonna make it through. So I think three years is acceptable. And you're in a healthy um, relationship. Yeah. Like I'm not. Don't give me a promise ring. I'm like 25 years old, and you better give me an engagement ring. Not for a proposal. Like promise ring is when we're like young. I'm like 20, 19. That's, that's some cute, you know, young yeah, stuff. Yeah, you better propose to me because I'm, I'm a little. I'm like mm. 26. We've been together five, six years. You better get down on that. Song some promise ring. Promise for real. what? Okay. Shoot, I promised my life so far. <laughs> What was I gonna say else about promise? Oh yeah, so don't just and another thing that I opinion that I have with promise rings, it's not just something to just throw around to just give to anybody. Like just because like you know it's gonna make her feel good or make her do the things that you want. So it's like I'm gonna give her this and she's gonna think I love it. Because a lot of time girls, especially when you're a teenager, you can be vulnerable and gullible because you really like you love and care about this person so anything they say and do it's like oh my god that's so cute and you don't realize wow that was really some dumb stuff i did after you're out of the relationship so don't just accept the promise ring just because someone gave it to you and don't just give it out to anyone okay guys so this is the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video as well and i'll list all my sister's social media accounts down below yes and thanks so i'm happy i was able to be in this video it was fun filming this don't forget to follow me on instagram at tyann underscore janine she'll have that below and i also have a blog we recently had the opening the release of it last week super exciting it's called practically poised and she'll have that down below as well all right bye. guys bye